in this issue of Video Fashion News. Designers have their collections down to a fine art for spring-summer 2013. At Louis Vuitton, Marc Jacobs looks to conceptual artist Daniel Buren for his optical show. This is work called Le Deux Plateau. It's a grid consisting of columns in three lengths, short, medium, and long lengths. The Elizabethan era themed film Orlando inspires Joseph Altazara for the spring season. It's really all about embellishment and all about um, adornment and how those things on, you know, very masculine fabric can be really unexpected. Gabriele Colangelo references the work of Russian painter Kazmir Malevich. The geometry and I try to transfer this kind of idea also in the shape of the clothes. Costume National defines a new minimalism with modern photography. This kind of uh, idea that I started last winter to mix uh, art and rock and roll, and uh, it worked. It's, uh, we are happy. <laughs> for Fendi, Karl Lagerfeld rediscovers his love for the architectural designs of the Memphis group. I had not thought about it, did by instinct. There was something in the back of my mind that could remind me to Memphis, but I had not formulated in words and much more. First of all, there's the drama before now because everybody knows he starts on time. And you went in and there was a setting for an airport. And since last time the set had been so amazing that they built this giant train, everybody was, oh my God, are they gonna land a plane? Are they gonna land a plane? And that, or maybe is Mark going to take his bow in a helicopter? You know, what's going to happen? But in fact, it was good old-fashioned visual greatness. We were inspired by the work of Daniel Buren, by his installations and his artwork. And, well, this installation with the escalators inspired the set, obviously. But what really inspired the proportions of the collection and the idea of doing Damier, again, was or checks and a grid was his work called Les Deux Plateaux. It's a grid consisting of columns in three lengths. And um, so that's what we did, short, medium, and long lengths. I believe this show was really like a wonderful synthesis of Mark design and Daniel Bouvain colors. And you know, the most uh, famous trademark in the work, the Damien. So it's a perfect kind of way to deliver a very strong brand message, but uh, with the colors of an artist and the genius of a fashion designer. It was a perfect show. It was one idea, but my God, how rich that idea. First of all, to focus on that Louis Vuitton square, that multiple square, and really, instead of making it feel like he was doing something commercial by focusing on it, he made real beauty out of it. He showed why artists can choose a subject and spend their lives on it. And he just showed how if you have a vision, the audience will be there. It was exactly like the Einstein on the Beach piece with the Robert Wilson Philip Glass music we used during the show. I sat through four and a half hours of that opera with great pleasure. And at the very, very end, the last six minutes, comes this beautiful story of love. And after like all this math and all this science and all of this sort of repetition, then you get this beautiful romantic tale and it really kind of touches you. So the flower was kind of the same thing, but we wanted to keep it as kind of non-romantic and non-meaningful in a way. Like, so it just became a positive negative sort of stencil. Oh my God, it was literally the most mind-blowing show. I mean, just the, the, the escalators on the runway, the clothes were so, precise and perfect in 60s, but not in a costumey way. And it all just was perfect. God, he brings so much. He changes the conversation. And he inspires not only us, but he inspires the population of designers all over the world. I think uh, in fashion, we definitely look first at the product. But the show is an opportunity to bring additional emotion. It's a sort of loudspeaker for the designer to say, yes, 
have created a statement and it's just to emphasize his creative statement. It's, it's one of those moments where you love fashion. Joseph just said to me he really liked the idea of a small head. I suppose in a way it's like a little bit of a bow like in the hair. Very tight, low ponytail in the back. Once the ponytail's in, just rolling it under, pinning it, and then using the end to make almost like the bow, the sort of the bow effect over the top. And that's it, just very simple. I think Joseph's woman's very strong, very confident, and uh, yeah, that very sort of Parisian chic woman. It really started with the movie Orlando and, um, and kind of this tension between masculine and feminine and we were working with fabrics that were very masculine like these railroad stripes and um, these almost like uh, you know waxed cottons and how you kind of can co-opt those and do some you know really interesting feminine shapes and slash them and show the arms. But then you also have this other side of the collection that was really all about embellishment and all about um, adornment and how those things on, you know, very masculine fabrics um, like these, you know, striped linens and striped cottons um, can be really unexpected. I love the show. I absolutely love the show. I mean, the whole thing was beautifully cohesive and thoughtful from the capes in the beginning over an e over the crystal blouses all the way through to the more embellished pieces at the end. I, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Wow, what a beautiful show. The tailoring was impeccable. The fantasy, the dream part of it, the embroider, the jewelry, the embroidered of those corsets. It was really phenomenal. When we were thinking about the shoes for the show, we wanted, we wanted a covered leg, and we wanted something that would be so different from what we were doing with the clothing that it would create like an additional layer. So, you know, we did these kind of slashed boots in the front so you see the toes or these knee-high gladiators that are also embroidered. So it was kind of like a whole vision. It's so exciting when you see an artist really hitting their stride and he is, he is right there. It's very authentic, it's very him, and it doesn't reference anybody else and that is so appreciated. You do evolve a point of view and you do keep on working on the same ideas and you kind of stumble on new ideas. You know, I think when you look at all the seasons, even though each season is very different, there is a kind of cohesiveness about it. You know, there's the tailoring and there's this idea of kind of eroticism and um, there's this idea of seduction that's always going to be there because it's very much part of the brand.